Hello, we are Geeks Assembled, and today I'm joined by Susan. Um, we are going to be discussing a 2014 movie starring Denzel Washington, um, based very loosely on the 1980s TV series The Equalizer. Um, the, the only thing similar about this to the TV series was the main character's name to be honest, um, <laughs> Robert McCall, um, who was originally played by Edward Woodward in the TV series. Um, so this is the big screen version from 2014. Um, so without further to do, we'll go to opening thoughts with Susan. Over to you, Susan. Well, um, I'm glad we're doing this because we've done a lot of uh, shows recently that were shot in all. And I mean that, that's a good thing because but this is shot in my in my current home hometown called Chelsea, Massachusetts. Like um, yeah, virtually the whole the whole of the the movie was shot here on this side of the the Tobin Bridge and and featured the Tobin Bridge rather rather famously. There is a little bit on the other side of the McCardle Bridge, which is this old steel bridge into East Boston. Um, but basically, this is a story that, 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 that one could say is set in Boston, but it's actually Chelsea. It's all filmed in Chelsea. And Chelsea's a really cool little city. That's where I live right now. It's, uh, and, um, and I really liked, uh, I really like McCall. Uh, I think that he's a, it's a good character. And I think that, uh, no matter who is playing him, um, but I really like Woodward. I, I must say, I watched I watched that pretty much all the way through um, mm. in, in the eighties. I that that was so much more cool for me than M Miami Vice or um, what was all what also was around that time. Um, mm. Quite a few. The, wasn't the Hawaii Five O or mm. There was a lot Hooker. of what's that? <laughs> TJ Hooker. TJ Hooker yeah. and Baywatch and all those other shows. It, it, this one, this one was the one I watched. I mean, when I watched The Equalizer, and so we're, we should really, you know, review some of that at some point. But mm -hmm. but we've also done we've also done a one called Callan, and and that was also starring Edward Woodward. We did we did a bunch of the audio adventures. Uh, recast audio adventures um, on Geeks Assembled Audio Heads, which comes out, uh, which comes out like once every every two weeks. So we do a, an audio adventure, and I just think that you guys would really like that. I, I think you really would like Callan. It's kind of gritty and good, and um, and so you can also see where where this one gets its grit from. It's it, it's it's gritty like it is here in this city. Um, we are, uh, I mean, we're kind of, a, there's a lot of, especially in Chelsea in the 80s, there was a lot of corruption here. In fact, it was so corrupt by the 90s that they had to like fire all the mayors, uh, to, like break down the, the, the city council and and put up a and change it to a city manager so we we don't we don't we're not even uh you know self-governing enough to do ma a mayoral thing anymore because there was so much corruption here and that's really why the fbi put their their boston um their boston or the northeast uh you know base of operations here in chelsea right by the market basket is because this place was so bad. I mean, our, even our housing authority where I live um, was, I mean, you gotta, you gotta hear about this guy named McLaughlin. I mean, he, he went, he went, he was very well liked by the tenants, but he went too far with, uh, with relieving the, the, the housing authority of, of revenue that, 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 that was coming in. He'd find a way to put it in his pocket and walk away with it um creative bookkeeping anyway that's chelsea so that's why this this place is 
this movie is set in Chelsea because it's like, yes, uh, it's not set. I mean, it's it's uh, shot here because yeah. it kind of fits. It kind of really fits. It's just a really, um, it's a good place to tell the story from. And I mean, like they used a lot of the, the backdrop of our city to show kind of the way it is. And um, anyway, uh, it's about a kid who is, um, a young young girl who's a who's like you know somewhat a prostitute but mostly someone who didn't really want to be a prostitute but is basically being being trafficked and so it's a really rough go and they and this guy's a pimp and a, and a, basically a mobster and so uh that's that's where it, that's where it comes. It's it, it just comes from that and this uh, this this girl gets McCall involved, and there's a there's a heavy involvement then with her with her life, and and he works his way in and out of uh, these parallel situations, going into clubs and stuff that that really could be the, the end of him, and uh, it's it's great. And the other, I, I like Denzel Washington in a few of his roles, really a, a great deal. And like this and, and that, that Unstoppable, you know, he's just, he just is amazing at, at doing, um, at, at playing these, these great characters that, uh, you know, um, change, change people's lives by being involved in, in them. And so, um, yeah, I, uh, all of that stuff to be to say that, um, yeah, it's a really good movie, and, um, and the cast is really good, and the and the and yeah, his creative ways of of overcoming McCall, aka Mac. Some people call him Mac, and yeah. And so, I mean, even the Queen Latifah show is good. Like I actually watch that a lot more than I watch anything else uh, over the air TV as I watch the, the, the Equalizer, the one that's out now starring Queen Latifah and she's pretty badass. And so that's fun. And so I've mentioned Callum, I've mentioned Robert Woodward, I've mentioned the city and I've mentioned, um, the connection of, of the other, the, the, the equalizer, the, the three movies and the two TV series. Um, so I, I enjoyed all of it. So uh, yeah, uh, really great. I, I'm, I'm really glad. Oh, and you know, of course, just having the, the DVD around is fun mm. because it's got both the, the first one and the second one in there. So, you know, I get to watch both of these. Anyway, yeah. So that's all my opening and my favorite. Well, some of my some of my stuff <laughs> about this movie. Anyway, I'll back over to you, Lee. Thank you. Um, as as I said at the beginning, uh, and as Susan's mentioned, uh, it, it, based on loosely based on the eighties TV show starring Edward Woodward, um, I was hoping that the Equalizer theme. From the TV show might have made an appearance somewhere in the oh, movie, but God, it, it wasn't to be. Um, yeah, that 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 is been, a that is a oh wow. Yeah, if it could have just been playing somewhere, yeah, <laughs> I'd have been chuffed. But uh, hey, I, I'll tell you something. Denzel Washington just totally different character to what was in the TV show. Um, he's well, once he gets going, he. He's violent. He's is meticulous about everything. I mean, I don't know if if this character was playing it with some sort of OCD, because everything had to be in its place. Um, oh yes, you know, the, the 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 napkins and, and his silverware. Yeah. You know, the night the cutlery had to be so in a sort of angle. Everything was tamed down to the last second. So I, I don't know if his character suffered with OCD or not, but if he did, they played it so well. Um, cool as a cucumber. Um, 
for me, the, one of the best parts in this is the villain. Uh, after after McCall kills the Russian mafia, um, the the big Russian boss sends in his enforcer to find out what's going on and get get the culprit what's killed his men. Um, and he sends in um, Nikolai Ichchenko, also known as Teddy Renson. Yeah, um, like that was weird that they had the they had two different names for these characters. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah, his, his nickname. Yeah, his real name was Nikolai Inchenko, but his nickname was Teddy Renson for some reason. I don't know. But he he was one bad motherfucker. He was. He didn't give a rat's ass what he did. Um, and that is one great villain. Um, that, that that could be that he could be up there with like Hans Gruber, in my books. Um, it was so one scene where McCall just faces him across a, a restaurant table, uh, and just will tell you what this is. I'll tell you what this, and he's he's telling him. Uh, the guy's own history, um, you know, about what happened to him when he was a young kid. And I thought that scene was absolutely brilliantly done. Um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's a very violent and, and gory movie. They don't yeah. hold back, they don't hold back, they, they don't hold back the punches, shall we say. Um, and no, think, and they, they really showed that, that, that girl being completely tortured. Yeah. I mean that that the the scene where um, uh, Inchenko kills the other call girl, you know, yeah. um, just you know, with, wraps his arm around her throat, and that was just a bit of a, a, such a graphic scene. Um, but it's it's one hell of a movie. I've never seen this before, so uh, you know, it was a. It was nice to watch this. Uh, I was taken aback a bit because sometimes you think of Denzel Washington, you don't sort of think of movies like this. <laughs> so, but I'm trying to think now. Is this the only movie where the final showdown is in a um, huge DIY warehouse? Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> now we, we've got we've got uh, we've got places in our in in, in the UK um, exactly like that. You know, you go there and you buy a new front door or whatever. You know, we call yeah. it B and Q or whatever. You, I don't know what you <clears throat> have them over there, but um, I can't think of any other movie where there's been a final showdown in a place like that. Yeah, I don't know. That was so original. It really was. <laughs> just with you know, you just. Helping yourself there with the drills, with the flamethrowers. <laughs> that that great big huge uh, mallet. Mm, yeah, uh, the rivet gun. <laughs> <laughs> what a great death scene for the villain though, as well. Yeah, that was that was really cool. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Susan, anything favorite scene to you or? Um. Yeah, I, I like the, the scene where um, I like the scene. I liked it when when they were sitting in the cafe, and um, and they were drinking coffee, and they started. Uh, they they use that cafe as like a way of just you know tying these two characters together, mm. and that was really great. Like they really did. Like he. He'd get done with his his job at, at the at the you know the DIY warehouse, and um, and then go then go sit and have coffee um, in that at two a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, till really late. Yeah. yeah, and she would be in there, you know, waiting for her her go oh, tickets, you know, whatever dance card i don't know how to put it whenever her <laughs> pimp was sending her to a john right yeah 
And yeah. so, yeah, she would she'd just sit there and, and chat with with McCall until then. And, you know, that was that was really a great way to get to get them involved. And also you got to see a lot of the the frustration of, of people being really poor and uncared for in, in Boston. And Boston has never been sort of a, a gentle, a gentle big city. It's pretty heartless, actually. I mean, it's really, really, really rough to, uh, to connect with people and stuff. So that's, they're they're using Boston as kind of its own little part of the of the character of this um, of this movie. It's it's just that that's that that grittiness or that you know self loathing of this place is just and you could tell that 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 you know they weren't going to pull any punches with her and um, and. I know a, a lot of people are, are like ever since Taxi Driver have been like, you know, what what to do to, to buy your way out. And he tried to buy her off of them. Uh, McCall tried to buy her and that ended up going a little, little far south. Anyway, that was, that was rough. And um, there was a lot of brutal, brutal things that went on with, you know, the Russians and their girls and, you know. The, bank, the, bank, the bank coppers as well. Yeah, the bank yeah. cops. Yeah, seriously. And I mean, that's part of it. That's, that's part of the city is like this. There has been a lot of corruption in the city in, in, in where it's shot and, and in Boston, you know. And and that 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 cafe is actually a place I I go go back, go by pretty frequently, and it's actually a, a flooring store. Oh, so it's not a cafe. <laughs> no, it really isn't. It's it was it was re, it was it, it was set up as a as a cafe. Uh, but it's uh, a great it's a great building. It would have made a great cafe. So. Yeah, well, when I was when I was watching the movie. Because I know how you how you love your root, your roots of the houses and stuff. I was I was watching some of the scenes where you know where Denzel's walking down the street or whatever. And I think of some lovely houses, those flat roofed houses and yeah, and then yeah. the the ones that are mansard roofs. There was tons of mansard roofs yeah. in this, like the 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 uh, like the beautiful the beautiful super gorgeous uh, estate that the Russians lived in. That had yeah. a really nice mansard roof. I mean, like that's where that's that is really a cool thing about the about the Northeast is because many of these houses were built in between like 17, 1750 and seventeen ninety and or you know into the early eighteen hundreds. They they're all there is a lot of Second Empire stuff here. I mean, there, there's hardly anything that remains of of the way the city looked in the in the 1600s but there's tons of stuff that, that reminds you of the 1700s that is still mm -hmm. like around right now and so i really that was that was awfully fun and there was a great deal of um and, and yeah so anyway go on got to talk about that too oh my gosh and then, this is a good podcast lee i got to talk about <laughs> mansard roofs again I know. Um, also he is fast with with mansard roofs guys <laughs> also in this we had um playing playing a ben copper uh, david harbour who um who's you know been so successful just lately in stranger things yep um i i was quite surprised to say, i didn't know he was in the movie and then he popped up there you know as one of the ben coppers working for the russians um great actor oh uh, and bill he, pullman who do was part of Tor 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 Wood. yeah uh just a cameo by Bill Pullman. He's not in it much, but uh, nice to see him in oh. in uh, this. But I, I I really did enjoy this. <coughs> it, it, you know, um, 
I didn't think I would because most times out of you know out of ten, if there's a movie being made from an old TV show, it doesn't usually work. You know, you, you, you lose something. But they went down a different angle with this one. They've done they, all three of the the all three of the the iterations of of the Equalizer since since McCall. Um, I mean, with McCall, and uh, and you know, uh, with Woodward, and, and then into Washington, and then into into the Queen, Queen Latifah. Yeah. You, you know, those they are really different, and they're but they are really good on their own. Yeah. As I say, I, I always dread it though. I mean, I, I've seen movies made from 80s show, shows. I mean, example, Miami Vice the movie. Um, what, there was another one, um, the 18 movie, just didn't really gel. Yeah. Uh, so they sort of flopped. But this one, they, it had it all. It had the action, it had the story, and it had the grittiness. Um, yeah. This is it, it didn't hold back. Um, I thought it was an amazing movie. Yeah. And it's the really other the, the character of the the, the the security guy who was actually trying to be uh he was trying to get a, a job as a security person. Yeah, he had to, he had to lose weight to go. <laughs> to yeah, get he had to lose food. weight and he had to get buff and 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 he was working with McCall on that, but then he was also, uh, you know, he 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 was he was McCall's just friend, and then he um, and then he got a job working at the 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 DIY warehouse, just like, you know, you could see the way that that McCall had moved him into that position. Yeah, and and luckily at the end of the, the end of the the movie, McCall's online on his thing, if. Like in the TV series, there used to be a calling card, didn't there? If you want to, uh, if odds are against you, blah blah blah. blah. Right. So, if you can't, if you can't trust the police, and you you don't want to go to, you know, a mafia don, just call yeah, me. But this, this was sort of setting up the equalizer job, what he does in the in the TV series. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, I totally enjoyed it. So anything else before we go to final scene, Scott? Um, oh, this was one of the first times we get to see Chloe Grace. What's her last name? Chloe Grace Moretz. And she's done she's done quite a bit of uh, acting, but this. Uh, this was one of the first things that she was in. I, I just, I really like that. Mm -hmm. Let me double check. One more thing. I was just going to go. Oops. Yeah. Um, it's like one of the, one of the first things that she was doing, not, not the very first. Anyway, she's done a lot, I guess. I, I guess I'm amazed. She's been in like 75 things. Anyway, really liked her in this, liked how she was able to, you, you could see that, that, that she had enough toughness that she that, that the, the treatment wasn't gonna make this character go crazy and die or whatever. Anyway, it's just a really good movie. Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad, I mean, you picked this one. So. Yeah, thanks. Great, great choice. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. So, shall we go to final sound score? Sure. Over to you. All right. Well, um, for all of its uh, goodness and stuff, um, <coughs> we're we here in this city and the other city, right out, right over there, um, are um, are are happy that this is made here. I was speaking with a police officer who was just standing in front of that, that place while they were doing some road work. Um, and he said, yeah, do you know that, that, that this was part of a movie set? And I was like, I, I didn't, 
I guess Alex had told me, but I didn't know which place it was talking about. But this police officer let me know what, what had happened. And that was that was fun because I was just waiting for the bus and and now and and now it led to this. And so but I've i yeah. Let's let's find a way to do the to put the, the theme song from the original and a little of the you know maybe a um a I don't know, maybe turn a uh, turn a uh, an eye or or something to McCall uh, as played by Woodward or played by played by Washington in in the new one. So I I, I just if they threw something little like that, in, that would be great too. It's just it's it's kind of a franchise, and yeah. and that's that I like these franchises. I'm very into that. That that's a that's a pretty cool thing to me. Cool. Anyway, and thanks for suggesting that we listen to Cal and uh, all those you know, all those Woodward, and then we got to watch that. So that's fun too. That Woodward guy, he doesn't he doesn't he plays some tough characters anyway. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll give it ten. Uh, I'll give it 10 rides on the 111 bus <laughs> out of 10. Cool. Um, I'm, I'm going to give it just a little bit lower. I'm going to give it a 9.5. 9.5 rivets out of 10. That's a really good score, though. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just It was... We've mentioned the theme tune. It's like, yep. <laughs> Because if you're going to do a movie about the Equalizer, use the name Robert McCall, you should have the theme yep. to it, even if it's an updated version or yeah. an orchestrated version, because back in the 80s, it was an electronic synth version, wasn't it? So yep. but you could, you could, they could have done that because it was a brilliant theme tune back in the day. But it's a great movie. So that was my only gripe. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I take yeah. half a point off just for that. Oh, I'm so fickle. <laughs> so good. So yeah, so that's our little um, review of the 2014 movie, The Equalizer. Um, let us know if you've seen the movie. Leave a comment below. Uh, let us know what you think of the movie and uh, its sequel. I know there's a. I think there's a third one being made, isn't there? Yeah, I did see that. Equalizer yeah. 3. Yeah, so... In Washington. Yeah, so hopefully um, I'll get around to seeing that when that happens. Um, please, uh, as I say, leave a comment below. Um, if you want to be a part of our little happy band of um, movie watchers and audio listening, just get in touch. Um, we're on Twitter, Facebook, Insta, um, and of course, YouTube, of course, this is where this will go up. Um, just leave us a message. All you need to be is 18 plus because some of the things we talk about, some of the things we watch aren't for kids. Um, so, but you do need either a PC, laptop, tablet, or a mobile phone with a camera and a microphone. And you use the Zoom app through that. So that's all you need. So get in touch. Yeah, we um, like to do these these podcasts in boxes. <laughs> uh, not a, not audio ones. We we like to be in the boxes. Yes, yeah. We enjoy um, our boxes, our, our boxes of Zoom. Yes, we do. Because at the moment I'm in the right hand corner. But if I do that and touch the screen, I go across. But you can't see that happening. How fun! <laughs> yes, yeah, fun. Now I'm at the bottom there. Um cool. <laughs> And one final thing, if you do subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to press the bell notification button. And, yeah, and you'll get notified every time we put up a video. Um, so I think that's it, isn't it, Susan? Yep. I think I've done everything there. Yep. So until next time, folks, please stay safe, be happy, enjoy life. And come and to Chelsea. 
Go, yeah, go, to go, you here. go to Chelsea, go, you know, go and sightsee. Susan will take you around there and show you all the places what was in this movie. I will. So it was so go. cool. It was it was really fun watching it for that reason. <laughs> so bye so bye for now. Um see you though.